I think what you would have on your screen is a market profile chart of uh, the Nifty, the May 23, and it's the first day of a new series. So what I would like to point uh, your attention to is that I'm looking uh, not at a continuous futures. I'm looking at the Nifty May 2023 uh, futures chart. And there is a slight difference over here. A lot of people who tend to work with a uh, Nifty futures which is a continuous chart and this is the nifty futures continuous chart but for all practical purposes especially in the earlier part of the series i would like to go for a specific contract of the may 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 2023 contract so this is the may 2023 contract as you can make out there is a lot of difference in terms of that uh, premium adjusted and the reason we want to work with a may chart is uh, during the time of rollovers it's not a given that all contracts would be rolling into the may future so that's why that continuous future does not have a lot of effect for us as volume players so suppose if somebody had let's say for an example about 500 contracts and he was in a profit in the month of april series he may close it and if he closes it that volume it does not reflect in the may 2023 futures and because we work so closely with volume, we don't want to have any part with that. So some, suppose somebody rolls or somebody does not roll in, it has to reflect in the volume numbers. And that is why that continuous future will not help you. You have to okay, go with a contract of the next series. So if a certain volume was there in March or April or even in February and it was rolled over to May 2023, because it was rolled over, there is a, a buy to open or a, a, a new initiation in the May contract. And that is why you have to okay, work with the contract because it's going to give you everything which is available in the contract.